back on the road headed north van's all uh, everything's working fine and uh, I'm heading back towards North Carolina uh, we'll catch y'all over on the other side enjoy the video and the photos I made it through Georgia. Uh, now I'm in just inside Western North Carolina. Look like I'm getting some ominous looking weather. Uh, heading uh, to the east. So um, my next stop be Bryson City. I'm gonna visit with my daughter for a little bit. Talk to her and get things in order. And um, let y'all know I am back out here. Feel free to contact me, message me. Uh, perhaps maybe we can meet out here in uh, Western North Carolina, uh, Western Tennessee, or Eastern Tennessee, Western Virginia. So, but here I am. I'll talk to you all on the other side. Highway 74, uh, which is also um, the Blue Blue Ridge uh, Expressway, I think they call it. Here comes the rain. You pay attention. Let y'all know what's going on. Catch y'all in Bryson City. Let me get uh, ready, prepared for this weather here I'm going into. Okay, I'm coming into the town of Topton, North Carolina. Uh, right now, uh, this is US 74 West 129. <clears throat> North and US 19 North. Up here on top of this uh, little pass here in Topton, 129 to the left, take you up here to Robbinsville. Uh, just north of Robbinsville is where the free camping spot I was back. I was at um, three months ago, three or four months ago. Uh, I think I did a video, but, uh, and also. Uh, from this, this turn north is about 30 miles up there to the tail of the dragon US 129 winds around over 300 curves uh, Takes you back into Tennessee uh, You come out south of Knoxville so, like, There's where it turns off at And now when we top this uh, little mountain right here we're going to be going down into the Nantahala Gorge. So that's where I'm heading through it. To get to Bryson City. Okay, I'll try to get more as I get closer to the gorge. And that's where we're going down. To. There he is, Nebo. Van Camp and Woody here. And then I made it over here to Western North Carolina yesterday afternoon. Uh, spent some time with my daughter. Caught up with her. Um, talked with her for a little bit. We had some coffee together one night. Um, thank you, Skeeter. Uh, putting me up there with y'all. Uh, Ray Ray, thank you for helping me with the van. And uh, of course, um, let's not forget Kia of Dothan, Alabama. They uh, helped me get everything squared away. Uh, van run good, uh, you know, for the first little trip here. All my lights are off finally. 
and uh, that makes me a happy camper. Uh, I know uh, my last video, you know, I was struggling about continuing on, but really I, uh, I, I choose to continue on. I like the lifestyle. I like the friends I've made already out west. Uh, busking Bohemians um, and um, Frank, Darren Flagstaff, y'all really helped me out. And um, you no, know, it's it, it, the the uh, people I have met already since the uh, desert cleanup back in December have all been awesome, checking on me, keeping up, keeping track. That's a good deal. Um, I think the hardest part is once I get uh, get going and get away from everybody and uh, sitting in by myself again, then I get to thinking about everything, reflecting. I've got to get my emergency fund back up, but my plans is, uh, seeing how everything's practically new on the van now, I'm going to keep her a little longer and uh, start saving my funds back up for my emergency fund. And I... Uh, you know, that's one of the lessons I've learned. You go to your emergency fund, then you gotta start figuring out how you're gonna get it back in together, especially when you're on disability, like I am, uh, limited income. But um, as I said before, I do make pretty good on my disability. I worked for um, a good long while to get the amount I got, and. Um, you know, I'm not going to tell anybody what it is, but I do make, in some, some cases, double and triple what others are making on disability. But um, that being said, if you choose to do this life, uh, before you even start anything, get your emergency fund set up. Uh, being in a minivan or a uh, automobile, I'd say at least $3,000. If you're going to be up in the cargo vans and up, the RVs, you're going to want between five and eight. Uh, it does cost to get things repaired out here. Uh, the, the one thing I found, the further I get away from uh, my home base in North Carolina, the cheaper repairs are for me. So, um, you know... That's why I said I did a pretty good deal down over in Flagstaff to get the transmission. Got my tires. I had my shocks and struts put on in Alabama. Uh, had to have the uh, transmission software updated, which I knew needed to be done. I asked them about in Flagstaff. They didn't know what I was talking about. But uh, Kia did pretty good updating the software and the one recall I had on the hood latch. So, um, you know... I'm very impressed with this Kia Sedona. Uh, there's nowhere as heavy as the Dodge Grand Caravan I had. Um, it's a lot lighter. Sorry about my finger there. But I want to let y'all know I am camping again over here in Western North Carolina. Uh, I have some more things to do. Gonna go get my shots of my knees here pretty soon. And then my feet. And uh, see my primary doctor before I leave. Hopefully. I'll start back on uh, traveling west uh, by August, sometime in August. I'll keep y'all updated. But um, for now, I'm here in western North Carolina. I did make my way over to the Blue Ridge Parkway last night. Found my favorite spot, uh, Orchard Overlook outside of Waynesville, uh, North Carolina. Um, got down to 64 degrees last night good deal with my fan going uh, the high temperatures here are in the uh, mid to, uh, upper 80s during the daytime being up in higher elevations here is a lot better than being down there in Alabama uh, 98 degrees heat index 110 can handle that so but uh, I am planning on doing some more uh, driving around here in western North Carolina as I get uh, the rest of my stuff taken care of. So, if you like the video, share it. I appreciate each and every one of y'all. Thank you to my subscribers. Welcome to the new ones. Give it a thumbs up if you like it. Share it. 
Uh, if you haven't subscribed, hit that subscribe bell button right now. Thank you so much. Y'all have a blessed day. We'll catch y'all up on the next video.